What's going on guys? It's Tony from Lone Wolf Paint Pond. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you why you might wanna upgrade your barrel system. <gasps> why? Because accuracy, it is simple as that. A lot of guns out there, not knocking anybody, but they just come with your standard stock barrel, a bore size that's probably not relevant in today's age of, of paint size. So there are a ton of different companies out there on the market. You've got uh, Shocker or GOG or Freak, whatever you wanna call them. You've got Field One, you've got HK, you've got Infamous, you've got Deadly Winds, you've got Inceptions Designs. There are so many companies that make upgraded barrels for all of the guns out there on the market. Uh, so first off, why would you wanna upgrade your barrel? A, a standard barrel kit, a back tip, and a bunch of different inserts, it's gonna be around 200 bucks. You don't have to spend that much. You can kind of go piece by piece. Uh, Deadly Winds has a Fiber X8 barrel. You can buy the back uh, with an insert, whatever insert you think you want. And that's just a one, you know, one barrel system instead of an entire, like a Freak XL kit or something like the HK Army laser kit. So there's definitely options that you guys have out there depending on you know, your budget and how much you wanna spend. Uh, so back to the main point of this video is accuracy. You want to be the most accurate on there, out there on the field as possible. So a lot of paint these days, the standard sizes um, that I've noticed, your paint's running anywhere from a 685-ish to like a 682 or sometimes even smaller. So first uh, off, uh, you got a question yeah. in the back? Okay. Um, I just started playing. I have no idea what a 685, 682, <laughs> what that even means. What are you referring to? These are all separate bore sizes. So uh, let's say the HK Army laser kit, since it's all right over here to my right. You're starting out with a 692. That's the inner diameter of the actual bore size. So if you don't know what that is, we've already done a video on that in the past and how is it important to actually bore, you know, get the correct paint um, that's gonna go in whatever insert you guys decide to use on your barrel. So we'll just pull this one out, Mark. So the number is the size of the paintball and I'm that's trying to find an insert the that matches. Correct, okay. so HK Army. I'll just pull this out because I'm gonna use it soon. We're gonna use that. We're gonna pull this out. HK Army's laser kit comes with an actual gauge on here, you see, you see uh, we've got eight different inner diameter sizes here on this gauge. You wanna find a paintball that's going to be a perfect fit on the inside of the bore, not too tight or not too loose. If it's too loose, you're gonna be having balls hook left, hook right. If it's too tight, you're gonna be breaking paint on the inside of the barrel. So with this handy dandy gauge that they give you here, you can grab a paintball and kind of figure out, so we're gonna start, it's hard to see in here silver. So there's, this is a 690 mark. 690, I'm gonna drop this paintball into. Woo. You think that's a good size? I went through, I mean, that's good. It went through. I mean, don't I want it to go through the barrel? Yeah, you want it to go through the barrel, but you don't want it to be too loose. Why? So, because it's gonna be, when it comes out, it's gonna be hooking left, hooking right, and it's not gonna be accurate. So let's go to, let's see, a 678. This is gonna be a 678. The paintball is, is tight, it's not falling through and I'm pushing it and it's definitely getting stuck. So a six, seven, eight, it's getting close, but I'd probably not do that. It, lo it looks a little tight. And don't forget guys, you wanna use multiple paintballs. Don't just test it with one or two, test it with three, four, five, six, test it multiple times because some of the paint differs. Uh, so that was a seven, eight. So I'm gonna try an eight, two. This is gonna be an eight, two. So this eight, two here, Mark, looks like that might be the winner in my book. It gets it, it's nice and snug. It's snug in there, but it's not too tight where I can't completely push it out. So I go there next and I find my 682 in my kit. So that is a 682 insert. It's all laser. These ones laser engraved on the Freak XLs. I have all of these sizes put right on there as well. So you'll know. Next thing I want to do, use this ball gauge. And even if you don't have a gauge, just grab the inserts and you can try it out. You don't have to use the gauge first. Um, that's just an easy way. They made it for obviously buyers that you can test it out with that. I grab the insert, put the paintball in. It's a little tight, so we'll see. It's a little tight, we'll see. Maybe that's not the one. It's not the one, Mark. It's not the one. Let's go 6A4. And once again, that's only one paintball. So but we'll I, try enjoy that. The, I enjoy the chipmunk cheeks. So. There you go. So let's see. 684. So you pretty much want a, a very tight, you want to be able to blow in, it's going to get stuck in there. You want that, and then you want to be able to 
easily blow the paintball out. So the 684 might be a better bet. You can even go back to your gauge if you want to and see, does it fall through the 684? No, it, it doesn't. That's the 684, so it's not really falling through there by any means. So that's probably gonna be your best bet. And that is why kits like this, they give you eight different you know, inserts to choose from. So there's different brands of paint. They're all different. They're not always the exact same size by any means. So I think the 684 is good. I'm gonna set this paintball off to the side. I got a couple other ones over here. Let's, let's test it out. We're gonna see. Yep, yep, see you later. And we got one more. Oh, maybe this try. Yep. All right, so I would uh, personally, I'm gonna be using the 684 in this barrel. So. What happens if I use too small of an insert? If you're using too small of an insert, you're gonna be breaking paint all inside that barrel. It's just gonna, obviously you saw the chipmunk cheeks here. You wanted a very, it's a good fit, but it's not too tight where it's gonna get stuck in there and break a bunch of paint. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna choose the 684 for today. And like I said, even before I did the testing, 685 to 682, depending on the paint brand, is probably where you're gonna to wanna to be. So I put my 684 insert in there, screwed the front tip on, and then now I've got my handy dandy trusty EMEC, and uh, we're gonna throw this barrel on there. You know this is probably gonna be the most accurate shot you're gonna have and see on the field all day long. So there you go, you got your EMEC, got the barrel on there, you got the correct insert that you guys wanted. That's it, Mark. Uh, what else do you want to talk about? Obviously the other kits. This is a Field One light barrel kit. I think it's coming with two different inserts. They have a full kit as well. This one's just a little bit cheaper. Coming with uh, a 683 and a 691. So two huge contrasting barrel sizes. I'm sure that 683 inside of the light kit works very, very well. And then the Freak XL kit, uh, one of our best sellers, obviously. Um, these things carry, you got five and then you even got a couple more down there on the bottom covering all the entire range of you know what you're going to need depending on what paint and what field you're playing at do they have uh aftermarket barrels and kits for just about every marker on the planet 100 percent. yeah there's adapters so even like this this is a carbon fiber freak xl barrel you can get different adapters if you're shooting an a5 and 98 you can get an adapter this thing is going to take an eight inch xl insert so there's barrels, I mean, there's so many different options if you guys wanna be, you have the most accuracy as possible on the field. So this can take different inserts. You've got the Deadly Winds I showed you already. The X8 has different inserts. They also make a null barrel. Uh, Deadly Winds makes a ton of great products as well. And then you've got Infamous Paintball in the building. This is, they make an FL uh, for like Planet Eclipse guns and then an FXL to accept the eight inch Freak inserts as well. So tons of great companies that are making you know, barrel products all across the map. So, so I have a, I have a choice then. So yes. I bought my gun and I could probably the best bet would be just to buy a kit to start uh, because it gives me the most options. But if I'm tight Correct. on a budget, I can buy individual backs and Correct. tips and so, build just what I want. Exactly. So if you don't want to come and drop 200 or plus off the rip, you can buy an individual barrel with, you know, like I just showed you, man, that 682 or that 684 insert looks like it's gonna work pretty well for most paint. You can just buy the barrel with that one insert and you don't have to spend all the extra money. But if you do, if you're really into it, I would highly recommend getting a full barrel kit for whatever marker you guys own because you, you got options for days. Like I said, if it, even the weather sometimes, Mark, you've known this, we, we've traveled all over the country and played. The weather sometimes, if you're playing in a hot, you know, humid condition, you're gonna wanna, you want bigger bore sizes, that paint's gonna swell up and you wanna find the correct size for whatever you're gonna use. So that's why they give you so many different options because all the different manufacturers and places of the world that you're playing in, it all fluctuates temperature wise. So you wanna keep that in mind. And hopefully if you're a new player, obviously the, the guys that have been playing for a while, you already know all this. If it's a new guy, uh, I hope you found this you know, video informational and uh, hit us uh, out, you know, check us out on the website and subscribe. Mark, keep yeah. talking while I put this away. Leave comments if you got any questions. Seven, uh, if there's something else you wanna to touch on, let us know. Head over to our Facebook group. You can ask us stuff. We put up a poll there and gonna have more coming. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Head to lonewolfpaintball.com and pick up your kit today. That's or right. an individual barrel because we didn't even touch on ACP tips and no, some seal so barrels. No, there's so many There's so many options. options. But in a general starter, 
a good solid uh, bore kit is probably a good way to go. 100%, no doubt about it. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, don't forget, a lot of these guns don't come with barrel kits, so you might want to get one. See ya.